We are standing here on top of the hill of Beit Sharim. The city, the town of Beit Sharim was on top of the hill, while the caves, the burial caves, were on the slopes of the hill, outside of the walls of the city. On the top, in the center of the town of Beit Sharim, the archaeologists found two buildings, two public buildings, big buildings. One building is this building. It is a huge building. Look at the walls, look at the space. It consists of two rows of pillars in the middle. We can see the rows of pillars. Central hall and two smaller halls on both sides. The size of this building, which was destroyed probably by the Byzantines, is about 40 meters long and uh, 17 meters wide. The other building, which we shall see, is a little bit smaller, same structure, but a little bit smaller. But the main difference between these two buildings is that the other building is directed exactly to the direction of Jerusalem. So probably that building is the synagogue of the city. While this building, which is close to the other building, is not directed to Jerusalem, but just to the west. It is very clearly not a synagogue, between it is not directed to Jerusalem. This brought the archaeologists, Mazar and Davigad, to the conclusion that this is the Bet Midrash of Rebbe. This is the building of the Sanhedrin, the Supreme Court of the people was here and here the, all the project of the Mishnah, making the Mishnah, editing, writing, creating the Mishnah was carried out here in this building. This is the building of the Sanhedrin. The size fits a building which serves the Supreme Court. It is a huge building. In the middle, in the front, there is a space which is a little bit higher than the rest of the hall. Probably on that platform sat the president, the chairman of the court of the Sanhedrin. The rest of the rabbis, of the sages of the Sanhedrin, the other 70 or 69 members of the Sanhedrin sat in three rows in the middle, in the central hall, and the other sages who came to listen, to hear, to learn from the discussions of the Sanhedrin sat in both halls on the sides. We can imagine hundreds of, of rabbis and sages sitting here in this huge hall. This is the only building in the sites mentioned in the Mishnah as the sites of the Sanhedrin, which fits the Sanhedrin. And we know for sure that this was not the synagogue because we have found the synagogue. The synagogue is directed to Jerusalem while this is directed to the west. I grew up here in this little town, Tivon. We played here. We were witnesses of the excavations here about 50 years ago, 40 years ago. About 23 years ago, I had a guest, the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, who came to visit my sister, who is now his wife. Sarah, Sarah, and he came to visit her, and I took him to this site. I showed him this site and gave him the proof that this is the place of the Sanhedrin, of the Supreme Court. The Mishnah was written here. He was very excited because he understood the meaning, he understood the importance of this building. We 
are privileged to discover the place where the second book of the Jewish people was written. The first book is, of course, the Bible. But the second book is the Mishnah. This is the written, the, 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 the Bible is the basis, while the Mishnah is the essence of the oral law, of the Torah Shebe'al Peh. The laws of the Jewish people are written in the Mishnah, while in the Bible we have only the principles, the halachot, the rules, the laws of the halacha, of the Jewish people written in the Mishnah. <coughs> And we discover the place where the Mishnah, one of the two basic books of the Jewish people, was written. It's a tremendous discovery from an archaeological point of view, but also from an educational point of view. And he, here, he stood on this rock, right here, looking on this wonderful place, site, and he declared, this will be when I become the Prime Minister of Israel, who is confident about it. I am going to make this site a center, a national center of learning the Mishnah. I want every Jewish kid, every Jewish student to know that the Jewish people is based on the Bible, but not only on the Bible, but also on the Mishnah. And they will learn the Mishnah here and they will understand the connection and the greatness of the project of the Mishnah which preserved the Jewish people for almost 2,000 years in exile. This is the place and we hope that someday we shall come to this place and see thousands of people, thousands of Jews here learning the Mishnah and bringing the message of the Mishnah and Rabbi Yudha Nasi to all the world.